Jared, just what happened on the, the two interceptions there, especially on that, on that trick play there? Yeah, so the trick play, um, they they brought the corner, they blitzed the corner. You know, he was kind of in my face. and I mean, I was just trying to throw it in the vicinity of, of Ryan because on a trick play, you can't throw it out of bounds, so it'll, it'll be a penalty. And he was... He had my feet wrapped up, and I was just trying to throw it in the vicinity of Ryan, and hoping, hoping something would happen, and it obviously didn't go, didn't go the right way. So, is that a point where you just need to be more cognizant of what's around Ryan, or what? I mean, it's just, it was it was just a tough look. I mean, as soon as I got the ball, I had got my feet, and I was trying to get, like I said, trying to get, the, uh, trying to get Ryan the ball in, in some sort of way, and. Um, it's just, it's just a really tough play. Jared, how, how do you and your teammates sort of deal with the way this season is going so far? You know, um, it's, it's really disappointing, obviously, because we had very, very high expectations coming into this year. Um, you know, we've, we've lost three games to this point, and, uh, you know, quite honestly, I think we should have won all of them. Um, we just keep shooting ourselves in the foot. You know, today I turned the ball over three times. Uh, that's completely on me, uh, regardless of – you know, any circumstance, I gotta, I gotta do a better job. Got to hold on to the ball, not turn it over. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's, you know, it, it's, it's not fun losing like this. Um, but like I've, I've said over and over, our guys are, um, they're, they're hungry to get better every week. And I know collectively as a team, we're gonna stick together. Uh, we're gonna block out, you know, all the outside noise. And we're just gonna continue to grind for each other, uh, just like we, we have all along. And that's, and that's what it's all about, uh, just playing for each other and, uh, you know, really just continuing to build those relationships with those guys and, um, like, like I said, just fight for those guys. Uh, like I said, that's what it's all about. When you look at yourself today as a quarterback compared to what you did last season, what, is, what has changed with yourself? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little older. I think that's uh, the main thing. Um, got a lot more experience, obviously. Um, just collectively as a unit, offensively, we're just, you know, today I thought we did some really great things. We moved the ball really, really well. Um, you know, at, at times we, we didn't move the ball well, but there was a lot of positives um, today. If you, if you look at it, you know, we'll look at it on film tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I think this year, for whatever reason, we just haven't hit that, hit that moment yet where we're just clicking. And I think last year, you know, it was against Missouri where we just had a great game all the way around. Uh, collectively as a unit and uh, so far this year we just haven't done that yet um, but like I said uh, full confidence in our guys that we're going to continue to, to fight for each other and continue to get better. Jared what, what's your message to that locker room when you know early this week you, you said you need to take it upon yourself to play better personally in the second half season and you come out and commit three costly turnovers like that. Got to do a better job. That's all it is. Uh, Got to hold on the ball. How do you how do you how do you as a player rebound from this? Oh, you just go back to work. Um, you, you have to go back to work. You don't have any other option. And um, I, I know you know how I've been brought up, how I've been raised. Uh, no matter the circumstance, you're just going to continue to fight, continue to go to work every day, and uh, continue to to get better. Did the, did they show you any def anything defensively that y'all weren't expecting? No, no, the, everything. Everything that they, for the most part, everything they threw out, threw out at us today, we were we were expecting. Jared, how's Booby doing after having to leave the game again with an injury? Uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen him, I haven't talked to him yet. Um, so I honestly can't give an honest opinion on that. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm really hoping it's okay. What do, you, what do you think the future holds for you down the stretch here? Just, you know, last year you were thinking about going to the NFL, you had great numbers, and here you are now, you're near the bottom of the league in a lot of categories. What do you do to kind of help yourself in the future? Continue to work. That's what it's all about. Every week I'm going to go, every 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 day I'm going to go to work, get better, and I'm going to keep fighting for those guys in that locker room. That's what it's completely about for me. I don't care about the future. I don't care about the past. I don't care how great or bad I did last year. I don't care how great or bad I've done up to this point. I'm going to continue to fight for my teammates. So anybody can say whatever they want, but I know how I can play. My teammates know how I can play. And for me personally, my goal is to do whatever I can on a daily basis to make sure that 
I'm doing whatever I can for my teammates. How heartbreaking was it when you threw that ball to Darius and it bounced out of his hands down, down the sideline? I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'm, it's just as heartbreaking last week when I overthrew him. So it goes hand in hand. But um, last week I had to make that throw. This week I had to make that catch. But that's not the that's not the play that defined the game. There was offensive, uh, offensively, defensively, special teams. There's a bunch of things that defined the game. Do you almost feel like more. the offense is just snake bitten for whatever reason this year? No matter what you try and what you guys do, it just seems to not be clicking. You know, I think there's been times. Uh, you know, predominantly through every game this year where there's some sort of really good stretch for us. Um, you know, the first half today, we, we did really well. And then towards the end of the game, moved the ball really well. Just got to make some plays. And I think, you know, that's been, that's kind of been the, uh, kind of the theme all year is, you know, we have great stretches throughout the game at some point. We just got to put it all together for a full four quarters. Even knowing you know, what Anthony Schwartz is capable of doing. Does he still surprise you when he has a play like that 76 yard? Yeah, that, de that definitely surprised me. I mean, you get the ball in that guy's hands, you better watch it. <coughs> what do you guys need to do to get him more involved? Uh, I think I think we're doing a lot to get, get him involved. Um, coaches have come up with great game plans to, to get him in certain situations, um, out on the perimeter, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, they, they've done a really good job. When I asked you that question about yourself and you turn it to the team, I noticed you're getting a little emotional about it. How much does this mean to you? Sean Davis and In Brian sense, Davis. The team? For the team yeah. this season. <laughs> you know, you grow up, you know, from a very young age, and you sit there and you watch college football, and you're like, man, I really hope I can do that one day. And then you go through high school, and you get recruited, and then all of a sudden you have an opportunity to come to a place like Auburn and, and play in front of great fans and playing some of the biggest games in the history of college football. And, you know, it, it's, it's hard to sit there, um, especially whenever you're young, and kind of take it all in. But, I mean, I, I, this is my, my fourth year of college, and, you know, I've, I've moved around a lot, done a lot of things like that, but you sit, like, I have, I have a really good perspective on things, I feel like. And I don't, I don't take a single day for granted, because I know, you know, it could be over tomorrow for me. It could be over tomorrow for anybody. And when you talk about this team, you know, the, these guys, they're, they are phenomenal. And I mean that in every, every sense of the word. Um, there's not a guy in that locker room I wouldn't fight for. Um, I mean, we don't, we don't have a lot of off the field issues. And so this is a very high character team. And, and everybody, you know, is here for a reason. And they're, they're just great people. And when you're around great people, you want to be great for those people. And that's my total total mindset, you know, ever since I got here last, last January. Um, every single day, I've gone to work, like I said, to, to fight for these guys and play for these guys. Because it's not about an individual. It's about a team, team effort, uh, through and through. And the, I can't speak enough about this team. You know, we've lost three games, whatever. But when you start talking about what kind of team we have, I couldn't say any more great things about them. Like they are truly phenomenal. Coach Last one. Coach Malzahn was asked if he ever thought about a quarterback change in the game after your two picks and the fumble. He said he's going to have to review the film going forward about what to do. Just how do you feel about that? And, you know, with questions being asked about it's outside noise. I know how I can play. My teammates know how I can play. My coaches know how I can play. And uh, I mean, just gotta hold on to the ball. I mean, that's. I mean, I, didn't, I had what two two turners coming into this game. Um, so I just gotta gotta hold on to the ball. All right, thanks, Jared. Thanks, Jared.